Okay, here we're testing for distributive touch. We're going to be taking a pen or your finger and you're going to instruct the child to close their eyes. So close your eyes and what you're going to do is you're going to randomly touch them on the cheek, the arm, the thigh. What we want to have them do is touch the area that you just touched. We want to see if they're aware of um, their body and where that tactile sensation occurred but also to being able to pinpoint exactly where they were touched. We're also wanting to see and make sure that they're not going to be startled, they're scared, but they're not, even though it will be an a unanticipated um, sensation wherever they're going to be touched, we want them to still stay calm. So we're looking for all those abnormalities, but we want to be able to see good control, self-control, but also self-awareness. So now here we're going to start. So we're going to start off just randomly and instruct your child after I touch you, go ahead and touch exactly where you felt it. Good. Good. Now use your finger to point at it. Or use your other hand so I want you to be able to point. I want you to touch your skin where, touch your arm or touch your body where I touched it. Okay. And that's it. I wanted you to see that as well because if we do that and they just kind of just like, oh, here. We don't want that. They, we want them to be very pinpoint as close as we can to where we touched them. So make sure they understand that. This is the first time he's doing this. Good. Good. Okay. So if we're more than a few inches off or they're glitching or they're trying to guess, uh, they're startled again with that, uh, with the sensation, those are all abnormal. We want to be able to see, again, good, precise pinpoint. So uh, if it's anything abnormal, we have to work on proprioception, tactile, as well as the startle reflex.